Hello and thank you for joining me everybody on another edition of How I See It. In today's music commentary, review, opinion, impression, we can go all the way around here. This way I see it. This is going to be on Bobo Sway featuring Sway Lee, Ball Out the Lot. Now, I went ahead and just going to, first and foremost, I, first impression I got on this video because I've never seen Bobo Sway. Uh, he looks like if Russell Simmons had a kid and so there you go a long time ago anyway I'm starting to think all these boys are family uh, it says Bobo Sway and Sway Lee so they take that word and they make it unique it's called Shrim Life Crew and so anywho let's just get past it it's, I like it because it's beady it's got a storyline there going on it's not like you know uh, the interludes, you know what I mean, catchy. I bought out the lot. You just gotta listen to it, it's good. I like it. I like anything these boys do, because I'm thinking that they're learning how to build uh, like, uh, like a crew, first of all. Uh, a lot of people, I'm sure, is gravitating towards them like magnets, uh, still in their style, still in their swag. <laughs> just, uh, and no, I'm, I, when I see Swali, every single time, he got sunglasses on. I gotta wait till he takes them off. Just know he ain't Jaden. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't. Sh anyway, I and you always pick up on their style too. So I was looking at that. Um, Bobo ain't got really no style. He didn't. They didn't change like normally they'll do like set changes and stuff. Change their clothes out. I did see the other uh, Shrimmer boy in the background. They're just all like puffing it up like they do sponsoring. You know, uh, some raw. And another, you know, Cigarillo type thing. Um, so I don't, I, you know, like, let's dedicate, you know, the, the whole flaw to the smoke in the air. And I don't know. I'm just going with it because I don't understand where they get their inspiration from. You, it don't look like y'all do much but celebrate. That would be nice. So anyway, I like the song. It's very catchy. Um, and whenever you turn it on, this is what y'all want to hear, is whenever you get in your car, you want to turn it on and put your bass to a certain notch. Because they always get a song that is by, like, Mike Will made it. That, whoever, you whatever. I don't know if his name is Mike Will. Well, I guess so. Mike Will made it. So, anyway. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, he's got some really good beats. They always grab up one of his beats, and they just go inside the studio, and I'm sure they just break it down. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, we was two minutes in before Swally did his move. His rhyme was approximately 33 seconds, y'all. If that, 35. You had me listening to a 4 minute and 20 second video for just your 33, because I ain't going to lie. I was listening to Bobo. I always want to hear what you had to say, yo, funny boy. Anyway, it got me listening to Bobo, and he's all right, but you know what? We know where he's going with it, and he said he's going to stop. Let's see if he does. I'd like to hear what y'all have to say about this video, because, I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't sound anything different than Black Beatles to me, the beat. So I'm thinking they just tweaked it a little bit, and let's do another verse on it and make it, you know, and just extend the rhyme. So let me hear what y'all have to say. I, did, I, you know, don't beat me up too bad over this video review. I tried my best. I really do. I was looking for Swale. I ain't gonna lie. Swale, Swale. Same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, y'all. Please leave me a comment in the description box below. You heard me. Leave me a description in the description box below. <laughs> and give me a like. And if you liked it, please subscribe. I, mean, I try not to take up your little box too much, but... Um, You'll get a few dings. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.